welcome to Cup and Corpse Coding class. Today, I'm going to show you how to change Firefox's default CSS um, with CSS, I guess. Yeah. Um, it's going to look a bit like the, you can do stuff like this GitHub dark theme I made. I actually use this changing the default CSS for it before I made it into a Firefox extension. I'll put a link to it in the description. And you can, you can do whatever you want. I made a really screwy looking Google, like you couldn't even use it. I don't know if you'd want to do that. So to get started, go to about colon support. Okay. And scroll down till it says profile folder or something like that. And click show in finder or whatever that button says because it might say something different in Linux or in Windows because, you know, Finder's just a Mac software, but it'll be showing you the folder somewhere. So you click it, and then this pops up, or it might already be opened. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. So you open that folder, and then there might be a folder in here called Chrome, right here, and there might not. So you pop this open. If there isn't one, just make one. And if there is one, you know, there is one. Open it. So once you've got that folder open, you want to make a new file. And um, if you're on a Windows or a Linux, just skip ahead to when I actually make the file. And if you're on a Mac, you know, Macs are difficult. So you're going to have to do something. So go on your browser using Firefox, because Firefox is the best browser, go to a CSS file somewhere. So I'm going to go to Google's style sheet. If you want to use that, you can. I'll put a link in the description. Here it is. Uh, click Command S to save. This will be the style. I'll put it on my desktop, because that's easy. Command tab back to Finder. All right. And then Oh, I made a folder called Google Files. And, oh my god. Because it had to save all the sources. So, somewhere here, there it is, style.css. Just drag that into Chrome folder that you made in your file manager, and rename it. Click Rename, and change the name to from style to user and then content. User content, everything is lowercase but the C in content. And now let's pop that open with text edit or your text editor if you're not on a Mac. And then just delete all this. This is just Google's CSS. And now you can put whatever you want in here. So I'm going to make the body background color be red. So body. Open curly bracket. Ugh. Macs are annoying, so it capitalized it, but no, I don't want to capitalize. Be careful with that. Open curly braces, and then background, background, colon, red. Set my colon, and I wish it would stop automatically capitalizing. Yes, I want it lowercase. And go ahead and save that. Don't quit it though, don't close this window. And go back to Firefox and quit Firefox. You're gonna have to restart it. So now restart Firefox. And now my default page is Google, so it makes the background color bright red. But you'll notice if you go to a website such as Google, it's not affected. And the reason for that is because um, you didn't do exclamation mark important. So exclamation mark important will make it apply on all pages and not just some. See, the reason for this is because Google does not specify a background color, but Google does. They have like a nice grayish one. So if you quit Firefox, save this file again with the exclamation mark important, reopen Firefox, now, as well as Google being bright red, Google will be too. See? 
Oh man, that's hard to look at. Anyway, you can do stuff like that. But what if you just wanted to affect one domain and have like different different styles for each website if you want to just change one website like I did for my github dark theme extension you can actually do that so up here before your CSS code for a certain page you do at sign dash moz dash document document um, domain open parentheses whatever domain so I'm doing github.com and ugh, stupid autocorrect let's fix that alright save this file and quit Firefox and then restart Firefox like github when you go back to Firefox and you go to github.com it looks annoying and um, bright red so yeah hopefully you learned something from this video don't forget to like and subscribe check out Kidzee at the bottom right corner of this video go to my website at cuckmecurve.gq and